Everybody, Retro Beard here. It's our q and I normally film this outside in a um, locale, but it's gotten quite dark early and my camera keeps on struggling to focus. So we, we were going to use it, but it just didn't look very good. So we've decided to do it indoors. I hope that's not disappointing. Um, anyway, on with the show. The first question is from Chris Payne and he asks, something along the lines of, why are films today so rubbish? Now that's a pretty good question. Um, I will give my take on it. Um, I think it's because movie studios, directors and all that, and writers don't take chances these days and they're using either rehashing old franchises and remaking them in very appalling ways. And also I think they're playing it safe and using tried and tested formulas. So rather than new and exciting risky content, we're getting the same old rehashed junk. It's my opinion. I also think they're inserting political agendas and using modern societal issues um, in an, and what I would call an inorganic way where it feels it feels um, implanted into the film, inserted into the film and it detracts from the film's um, enjoyment in a way that suspends your disbelief and I think we on some level, some of us consciously, some of us unconsciously, we know that and we, we pick up on it. That's my opinion. <clears throat> you know, like, um, it could be feminist agendas, um, racial agendas, uh, transgender and sexuality agendas, they're all put in, in which I know they're viable issues in society, but when they're artificially implanted and they're not organic and not seamless, it just, it just doesn't work. And it often spoils things when it, because it feels done for the sake of it. And this is probably a controversial take, but this is my take. It's not a rant or anything against these topics. But when they're put in and things are changed for the sake of it or just to make a statement, it just doesn't do it for me. That's my view. I mean, I don't know if that's what you were thinking, Chris, if that was the lines you were going along, but that's that's mine. Um, and I think movie making is, it's got, it's fallen low and I'm hoping things are gonna change. Well, good question, my friend, thank you. Andy Davidson asks, um, and this is the next question, of course, will the Amico ever be released? Um, Knowing you, Andy, this probably isn't a serious question, but I will answer it serious because that's the kind of guy I am. Um, I think it will be released. It may even be released since you've asked me this, but I've not kept up with it because the project does nothing for me. Um, it's it's um, going to be released, but I think it'll be dead on arrival. Within a couple of years, it will just disappear because asking £250 approximately for a games console that's effectively a poor man's Wii um, for the casuals, um, and it's got specs of five-year-old mobile phones, I believe. It's just not um, appealing for any gamer of credibility, because even if you were a casual gamer and you wanted those simple, fun family games, which I can see the appeal of, you don't want to pay top dollar for that. You're looking at £99 for that. You know, something like the awesome um, Evercade VCS, that's that's something that I could understand collecting for and I, I even looked myself when I decided against it in my wisdom, which I'm glad I did. Um, but though this, the um, Amico is probably just for the casuals and for the fanboys and the the people who are paid and um, and, and, and have got more money than sense. Um, and once again, I know probably the way I say it's not the best, but I will say things how I feel. Um, so yeah, I think it will come out soon, within the next 12 months and I think it'll be dead within two years. That's my take. Good question, my friend, Andy. Thank you very much. Dark Entrax asks for the next question. Um, this is me paraphrasing, but what, what do I think of the different games, um, <clears throat> packages that come out like, like standard, normal, um, gold, silver, diamond, platinum, and all these ultimates and stuff. And what do I think of the dodgy stuff they come with? Um, I think, if that's the kind of thing that floats someone's boat because they want to be a collector or they're on a budget, that's fine. For me personally, I think they're they're a bad idea because I'm indecisive and I don't and I have the fear of missing out of the ultimate version and what it could have and having and if it's, but yet I don't have a bottomless budget of money or space or time. So but then if I get the normal cheap version, am I missing out on opportunities for any included DLC or items in game? Um, 
So they're, they're, I, I hate them myself personally. I think two editions would be plenty, and even that may not maybe it's not necessary because I often think also there's a manipulation where you're paying for an unfinished game, and we get enough of that already in this industry, where they sell things that should already be in the game as DLC. I know it's a slightly different subject, but I do think there's an overlap there. Um, the included items, the, the game items and things, uh, various game values and various usages, the additional items that they give, like the accessories, like binoculars or a hat or a satchel or a badge or, um, or, or um, a t-shirt or whatever, I think they're, they seem to generally be quite crappy. Um, occasionally there's the odd thing that you go, wow, that's amazing. But I do think um, they're, they're overall oversaturated, there's too many of them, it's overdone, overpriced, and I think it just divides people, and, and yeah, I, I, I wish they didn't exist, um, I, I wish at the most you got a standard edition which has everything you need, or a premium edition that's got a few goodies bunged in for the collector, but no, and often they don't even retain the value, you see a lot of these on Amazon marked down and stuff, so I think people are wising up to it, but yeah, I'm not a fan of it at all, so. Um, that's a good question though, Dark, thank you very much. You know, you're not sitting in this chair, I feel like um, Dr. Evil. I just feel, feel like doing this. A million dollars! Anyway, um, I'm gonna go now, so have a great Saturday. I will see you all tomorrow, uh, Sunday for the stream, which will be tomorrow, I suppose, when this comes live. So take care of yourselves. This is Retro Beard signing off. Bye for now.